Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, joined by my lovely fiance, Tasha Courtney, for Tasha's Take, where we look at this week's fashion in the Bachelorette universe. Hello, Tasha. <laughs> Hi, thanks for having me. I'm glad I can be your fashion correspondent. You're the hidden secret in like the movie, like you know the Disney movie where like they're like, "Oh, we can't we can't win. What are we going to do now?" And they're like, "Bring in Tasha, the fashion correspondent, and then we bring you in here. No one knows that we've got this gift of you here knowing so much about fashion." Well, I'm happy to help. So Tasha's been, uh, your credentials, other than fiancé to a uh, regional recapper, Dave Neal. <laughs> <laughs> regional, not East Coast, just West Coast, Southern California here. Your credentials are you went to the University of Cincinnati School of Design and Architecture Aromatherapy. Design, Art, Architecture, Planning. DAPS. They call it DAPS. DAPS. Okay. Yeah. So, which is a very prestigious design school in the Midwest, right? In the world, in the babe. World. <laughs> <laughs> A really great design program. I'm not trying to sell out Cincinnati, <laughs> but uh, anyhow. Go Bearcats. You, go Bearcats. You work as a fit model here in Los Angeles. Uh, along with other modeling. So you you literally know everything there is to know about how clothes fit on the human. I, I didn't mean like like jugs. That wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't me describing Tasha. You know how clothes fit. Uh, yeah, I know I know a little bit about clothes and uh, posing and that sort of thing. And, 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 and how to accentuate your positive features, which has kind of been a good thing with our channel is that we're trying to bring out the best that we all have right yeah so fashion is not about like necessarily who wore it best it's more about like who rocked what what they've got the best kind of right sure yeah so you're going to show for me uh best outfit of the night which i know it's a little tough because i've got some pics um i'm not trying to fashion police or anything not trying to tear anybody down but i do have a best dressed of the night and i have a worst dressed of the night and i have an honorable mention too Okay, you ready to get right into it? Sure, let's All do it. All right, let's go. Here we go. So we're going to start with, of course, queen of the hour, Katie Thurston from Renton, Washington. What do we think? I love this outfit on her. This is an, an excellent night one pick because this is her night. She's the star. She's dressed to impress. She's trying to wow these guys. So I really think that her designers or her, her, her stylist chose well for this look on night one because you know it, it, when she's just standing there she's a short she's a she's on the shorter side she is petite yeah um i don't know exactly how tall she is but we do know that she's a little on the more petite side and so this dress actually has a lot of nice features that help to extend to make a a smaller girl look taller is that the the we, i know we talked about this on a previous live stream but is that the mermaid thing where it hugs the yeah, Kinda. so a mermaid is actually a feature of the hem. Is that it, a real term? Yeah, it's called a mermaid dress. Made it up. This mermaid hem right here. So like like you mentioned, good do job, Dave. A broken clock's right twice a day. That's <laughs> it hugs the hips and then it flares that out at the bottom like a mermaid tail. That's what that means. And the, does the flare make her look taller? Well, if you zoom out, let me show you. Uh, let's talk about a couple of things here. First of all, she... We're, Let's call this zone A, right? Zone A, because when people are looking at you, they're talking to you and looking at you. Are in these your real eyes. terms? This is real. Is she pulling one by me, guys? I am not. <laughs> this, this right here is zone A. I didn't know we were on the football field. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> go to Katie's zone A. We used to call that uh, the, the, the cleavage. The, there's, the guys are simple. We have tits and ass, but uh, ladies call it zone A. All right. Zone A. So she's really showing off her neckline, her collarbone, and yeah, a little bit of chest, uh, but it's really flattering. And you can see there's a seam right under her bust there and a high waist seam. So that would be like That's an empire right here. waist seam. There's the under bust seam and then there's an empire waist seam. So that, that high waist seam is going to make her look longer in the skirt portion versus a waist seam that hits at her natural waist. Interesting. So, so you're basically, you're, so you're basically, it's like piece, an upper tuck. You're tucking up the, the boob. Her, this bodice piece is, is a little shorter and it's lifting her right here and it's make the, making her chest area just a, a little smaller, but it's making her skirt a lot longer. So this you, is can good. Can you scroll out and, yeah. uh, and show the full body? Yeah, so you can see how her waistline is above her natural waist. It's over her forearms right there right now. So that means the whole skirt portion looks a lot longer. So it looks like she has very nice long legs. Um, and then, like you said, the mermaid hem, it's been, obviously she was fitted in this dress because the hem is just dusting the floor line. And I don't know if we have a side view. But is dusting also a term? 
Sure. Yeah, it's just dust in the floor. Just like little Boone's ears. Yeah, she looks like uh, the, the 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 Swiffer sweeper from uh, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Who? Which one was that? Uh, the sexy French maid. <laughs> Katie's got sexy French maid Swiffer. But um, I don't know if we have a full body picture from the side, but I think this dress also had a little tiny baby train. So oh, let, yeah, this is, so that's it. a close up on this. Look at can the I little ju- neckline I- detail with this little lace. And yeah, you can kind of see. Like yeah, that. big clavicle energy. Clavicles in, you know, because it's it's obviously a conservative show. You know, some people were saying it's like a family show. It's like, no, they're, they're going to be bumping Harrison's in a yurt. It's not a, f- they're going to be banging, uh, you know, the, the clay down in the Pueblo. So it's not, but, but night one is the elegant part. First impressions show a little shoulder, but don't give the boys yeah, too she's much. Got, like you said, she's got the hair over one shoulder. She's showing off a little collarbone with the other. Now, this is what I just wanted to show you. I wanted to read, um, I'll read for you what, what the, the actual specs of the dress. Katie Thurston made a stunning debut as the Bachelorette on the premiere of the Rosefield reality show the 30-year-old bank manager uh, met with suitors, one of which could be her future husband, while wearing a gorgeous coral orange embellished gown. Can we pause right there? Yes. Great color choice, too, because we know that red is like a color that's associated with love, but it's also a power color. This is her, you know, she's all about women's empowerment, right? She's Women supporting women. She's boss lady tonight. She's uh, supporting her own women right there. And then the lace sheath gown that Katie wore while greeting her guys as they came out of their limos was designed by franchise favorite Randy Rahm, according to the fashion site Shop Your TV. The bold dress was paired with strappy gold Marion Park Lillian sandals, which retail for $5.95 at high-end department stores such as Bloomingdale's and Neiman Marcus. Katie also wore sparkly chandelier earrings for her big night, which we will get into, but I you forgot to mention this. We have over. a, I forgot to show you the Tasha's take there. <laughs> okay. It's you been... know, honey, I love that you made me this little icon. Don't look at the face part of it. Don't look too close. Everyone just close one eye and stare at it. I, I saw it as I was walking out to work this morning. I was like, oh wow, so cute. And then I saw it when I sat down just now. Do I not look like a Neanderthal in well, this photo? Big, what was this watercolor effect you put over it? Big I unibrow. Like the, the Geico, um... Or they, don't Neanderthal cavemen. shave the Geico little, men. Uh, yeah, yeah, they lost out to the gecko. Geico, you gave me like a, a unibrow. Well, it was an accident. I ran it through an app. I'm not Da Vinci over, over here. <laughs> Is Da Vinci, I don't know. I don't know what they do at Cincinnati School of Art, Architecture, Design, whatever it's called. All right, so I just wanted to show that off. And people oh, can yeah, go, so here's her well, earring. people can go follow Tasha at Tasha Courtney. You are going to be making reels that are more truncated and also TikToks with what you see in the fashion world. And if anyone has any questions, just slide Tasha DM. I'm sure, you know, uh, you know, by the end, you know, you get the Poshmark. We had her on the live stream. She started selling out of her Poshmark. It's a whole thing. <laughs> We're calling it Toshmark. So anyway, folks, let's go right back into it here. The chandelier earring. I thought it was a fishing lure that they found no. in Blake. Like Moyne's the luggage. other guy that one of the contestants had a feather earring. He should have stuck it on her ear and been like, caught one. What is that? <laughs> but it looks good because silver is like good with the native. It's kind of like a native motif, right? Silver, like the natives like have a lot of silver and jewelry, you know? Yes, yeah, so and they're obviously turquoise. because the coral too. They are after, where is their resort? They're at the um, Tamaya Resort in Albuquerque. It's is a, it in Albuquerque? I believe it's outside of Albuquerque. It's a beautiful, it's a Hyatt property. So, do anything you want to say about the earrings? Like what? Yeah, they the, just they look really nice. They they go well with the red. It suits her complexion really nicely. I think she really won on this look. She she pulled it off beautifully. You know what's funny though? These guys have been quarantining for this, so like they haven't seen a woman in weeks, and then all of a sudden she shows Much up. Less a woman one, who's not like no makeup and sweatpants. Yeah, they've just seen. No <laughs> offense to the production assistants, but they see a production assistant, you know, carrying a Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee, you know, with uh, uh, pit stains, and then all of a sudden Katie shows up with one side of her hair so showing off her glam. ears and they're like, oh, her makeup ooga. looks really nice too. I really enjoyed her eye makeup. Yeah, they nailed it. So let's go on down here. Of course. I wanted to talk about her shoes. You can kind of oh, see her do. shoes in this photo, but I think the next photo I had pulled up. Oh, um, I, I see what you're saying. Okay, so... Uh, it shows off her shoes. Okay, let's yeah, go right into it. cute little gold strappies. Now, in this instance, I think we can call this gold like a neutral. This $500 like a, shoes. A nude neutral tone, um, which I think is really nice. I like the thin little baby straps. She's got the ankle strap, so it's going to stay on all Cleopatra, night. Cleopatra, maybe? Pretty comfy. Is it like a e- Egyptian? It's got like the no, no, honey. I mean, good try, but no. It's just like a. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's a show that look. It's a shoe that looks like barely there. 
Why is it the because more the expensive the shoe? The, show. the more expensive the shoe, the less material there. This is five hundred dollars. This is like a hundred dollars per strap inch. So anyway, so uh, do we want to go to? Can you zoom out? Yeah, I just wanted to show off. Yeah, show so them. Taisha. Oh yeah, let's talk about nice toes. Shoes. We have a nice Egyptian I toe. Love, love, love. Taisha, Taisha's shoe. She's gonna be on, on the left. On here. the left here. She's got that cute little slingback with a bow detail. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't start using words and pretend slingback. Yeah, see, like sling blade. What? What's see this? The little strap that goes over her heel. She, it looks like she's got a graduation tassel on her heel. Is that what that is? <laughs> no, that's just the that's the design of the shoe. Okay, okay. But um, what's it called though? When it's when it's a higher heel. Is there a term for that? For like the high pointy heel? Like you can't walk, you can't walk through grass in those. You'll be, you'll be That's aerating. a three or four inch heel. You're murdering worms in those heels. Uh, Caitlin is wearing a shoe that's probably a similar style to the one that Katie's wearing. This one, a different strap design across the toe, but it does have the ankle strap. I don't know what it is. This is sexy. Like if you had to, if you had to line up which one of these shoes, like if you just saw the shoes, you go that, that, that person right there. I disagree. I, the, the winning shoes of the night are Tasha's shoes. What? That shoe, this? Absolutely. Babe, let's find out where that shoe is from. You, and if this you, episode does well, Dave has to buy me Tasha's ha, shoes. Leave a comment, boy, please <laughs> watch the ads. Play 15 ads to get those shoes. Can you scroll it over? But you, this you shoe, I would have, I would, we would be I having babies tomorrow. Nice shoe. I, babe, I have like two pairs of those in the closet right now. Put them on. Let's go. <laughs> what are you going to do? But Tasha shoe i just love that love 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 that shoe it's really beautiful but enough about the feet uh well, let's we can go all day about the feet. outfits i did i send you a picture of the two of them just standing next to each other i have this oh see, let me see if i can find it um we're working yeah, yeah. so is tasha's a little one shoulder or is that just like an over you know piece? i think you i think it's i don't think it's a one shoulder you can't really tell with all of her hair. You can't, but it might just be a little asymmetrical. It looks like there might be a bow detail there. It's just hard to see because it's all black and it's a low quality photo. But, but obviously they were going with the funeral vibe for no, Chris Harrison's death. Post <laughs> they're saying that they're mourning Chris Harrison. These are business women. And you know what? These, this is a really supportive girl squad too because it would have been wildly inappropriate for them to show up in something loud and gaudy. They could have stole the party. On Katie's night. Right. Yeah. So so this is sort of like not wearing white at a wedding, right? This yeah. is Katie's time to shine. And so they toned it down and they went with the all black, little black dresses. I really love what they did. Super tasteful, super simple. And this was recorded Great before job, Girl Squad. Before Caitlyn uh, was proposed to with a four plus or five carat diamond ring. But Caitlyn's a boss lady. Caitlyn makes money. For those people that make fun of her, Selling like, wine. she sells wine. We saw she's her, got her podcast. Walmart. We could podcast the wine. She's got it all. And Tasha's not far behind her. So they're they're and they're going to be killing it this year. But what uh, what? So as far as like, does does one of these shoes make the calf sit higher, or is it just a? Is it is, here? I'll tell you the benefits of both of these shoes. Anything with an ankle strap is going to be a visual disturbance for the eye. So if you want your legs to look longer, you probably shouldn't wear something with an ankle strap. But, but she's it's got above help the knee. Not trip. But she's got the above the knee. Like it's almost like right. this. No ankle on the left. I know they can't see my pointer here. No ankle on the left. But but she's got that pencil. Yeah, skirt. she's got a little bit of a longer length in her skirt. So they, you definitely wouldn't want to like break up the leg visually with an ankle strap there. I've never struggled so hard to to stay along on a conversation. This is very no, tough. No, you're doing a great job, honey. <laughs> this is... You're going to be Mr. Fashionista over well, here by the time we're done with we'll this. We'll see. Season. I'm going to follow after Colton, and we're going to... Yeah, this right. All right, moving along. So what else do we have here? Do you want to go to the next one, or do you uh, want to... Well, we have best dressed Miss Katie Thurston. All right, so we went best dressed with Katie, of course, yes, and then... winner of the night. And then... Uh, thank you so much, Girl Squad, Tasha, and Caitlin... Super supportive girl squad right there. They well, showed up. They let Katie shine. It, it'll be interesting in future episodes when it's not formal attire to see how Caitlyn and Tasha dress just for like the hanging out stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm really excited and Katie to as see well. their casual looks. You know, because when it's sporty, Katie, I mean, this was very interesting Interesting to see because, you know, when, when, she, when she's off, like when it's not time to hang out, she's got, you know, the uh, headgear on. She's got, you know, she's totally lax. Like any person in their 30s should be, you know what I mean? Just in their onesie, ready to hang out. All right, so you. So uh, do you want... now, should we move on to worst dressed? Yes, let's go to worst dressed here. All Is right. Is this worst dressed for nope, you? Nope, nope. 
No, after uh, this the one? last tab. This one? Yep. This is worst stress. <laughs> worst stressed award goes to Sandy. This is Sandy. Oh my gosh. What were they thinking, Cody? Who dressed her? The producers obviously didn't want a naked plasticky doll. Yeah, you don't want to know what's the underneath show, there. So they, Trust me. They put a dress on Sandy, but Sandy's got secretary haircut. <laughs> she doesn't she look like she smokes and just, you know, is Sandy, sassy. I think is a little underdressed for this party. Okay. But, so, so worst dressed award goes to Sandy. They probably the night. got that off a kid's I mean, costume, this, which is weird. It makes it even this weirder. Is a night. Actually, this dress would be cute for like a little day date. <laughs> this is like a cute like picnic dress, but it's not working. But on not Sandy. with like the uh, <laughs> secretarial hooker look here. And then, did you uh, want to go back to Tommy uh, or Con- Connor? I should say. Yeah. So honorable mention, we have uh, Connor here in his cat suit. This was a bold move. The cat suit. Probably comfortable, Can we get though. his full body yeah, photo sure. up here? And he put the bow tie on it. Yeah. But look at that. But it paid off. He got his cat face all over her. Yeah. His cat did. nip. Look at the furry legs. You know what? This would be great, though, for, like, if you have a cold beer. Like, you're, like, wearing your own koozie. You know? Very nice. And you know what? You could tell that these poor girls were frigid cold the whole night. Standing oh, yeah. out there waiting for the limos. Yeah. That whole thing probably... She was probably standing outside in the cold and wind for four we don't, hours at least. We don't have think. a photo. Fo- we don't have a photo of them, but they Looking. were literally huddled over, <laughs> like you're at some, you know, so waiting to get into a nightclub in, you know, Alaska. Man, it's but not any- fair. They need heaters, just like off camera, off. Well, that's what people don't the realize. Shot. They shot this in March in New Mexico, which I, I, I think is several thousand feet above sea level. Right? It There's gets a- very cold at night. We in drove the desert. through there um, in in January, and it and there was snow. It was snow on the ground, so it's clearly a uh, can get very chilly at uh, at at night here. I hope they had nice warming jackets in between takes. I'm sure they did. Um, so, anything else? What should we look forward to this year? What do you, what do you think? Um, this is our first time doing this. How do you feel? How do you feel? Uh, general breakdown about uh, about dusting off the uh, the fashion vocabulary. You know, because you take it for granted. You work in this. This is what's so funny to me because I'm watching you be like, oh yeah, there was a a Chambly, uh, you know, courtier, and I'm like, uh, human English. Uh, what the hell did you just say? And you're like, oh yeah, you know, it's just like a, a duvet that scrunches over on the <laughs> ek ek ek. You, you know. Just had like four words that aren't words. Yeah, well, that's how I feel in the last seven <laughs> years of us dating. Is like, honey, those aren't even words. Like, I, you know, it's funny. The first time I, wo- I, when you saw me like wearing shorts that didn't fit me anymore, and you're like, oh, babe, you don't wear those. And I was like, but I still got the button done. And it's like, huh. so it's nice to know that I've got my own fashion correspondent here. Maybe we'll get you one of those like flags, like flags that goes on there that says Tasha's take. Would you like that? Sure. Honey. Yeah, we need to get you to work. So everyone, go follow Tasha at Tasha Courtney. And is there anything else we want to promote for you over here? No, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be putting a condensed version of this on probably Reels and TikTok. Maybe, maybe I'll flick it over to YouTube Shorts. And your in your Poshmark is available. We have a full clothing rack of very oh, nice clothes, just, a lot of which I has really never been worn. To, so much of it just hasn't been listed. But yeah, I do have a lot of really cute items that I'm going to list shortly on my Poshmark. So if anybody wants to follow me there. Go follow her there. And of course, like this video, subscribe if you like this content. We're going to be doing this every week. We're going we're gonna to make Tasha come in here and give us a weekly fashion breakdown. I think as the season goes on, we're going to really get to know their style. And, you know, I think I think for episode one, it's, you know, I always say this with recapping. Very formulated. It's very hard for me to recap the show because it's just bomb, 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 bomb. It's a lot of gimmicks. And it's like, how do you recap a firework? It's like, bow, you know? So as the season goes, we'll start to see scenes where Katie's crying in a, you know, a floral gown or something we'll have a plenty to talk about so and maybe we'll get to see more of the guys fashion too i felt like there wasn't there weren't really any standout guys formal outfits this season at least none that i noticed um but yeah i think we'll get to see some of their personal style the dog's barking in the background we're filming this monday night so he's hungry for his dinner but people are going to ask what are you wearing who are you wearing by the way oh this top is from aster the label aster the label floral yeah uh, and why, what is this? Time. Why do they have this part? Is that oh, just for hanging it? Oh, I didn't know if that was a versatile. Out, what's with the, sc- sorry, what's with the scrunch? What does the scrunchie do? This is big with like bikinis where they put the scrunchie in the butt. This is just part of the design. What, what would you call that? 
Just like a little ruching? Oh, oh, just a little ruching. How could I not know? Um, look lovely, honey. Everyone go give her a follow. This was our episode. How did it feel? Great it. What, scale of 1 to 10. I thought it was great. Honey. We'll take that. It was great. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Oh, yeah. She rocked it. You're still on air. Oh, you hear that voice? <laughs> That's the voice. All right, so I'll take dinner and a massage. <laughs> you know, you know you're gonna say that too. No, I was gonna ask for a massage. All right. Good night, everybody.